Okay, well, good morning. Um, I'm Kathy Olson, Application Scientist at Molecular Devices. I've been working here with the microflight readers for about eight years now, so I hope to share some information with you that I hope will be useful to you. So today's agenda, what I hope to cover today with you, um, the general idea is to give you an introduction to fluorescence polarization and to some of the features of the assays, why they're useful, um, some considerations if you're thinking about designing an ST or fluorescence polarization assay, some of the applications that can be done with the ST technology, and um, a discussion of the microplate meters that can be used, as well as data analysis of the, the data that comes from those readers, some of the keys to ST success as you're designing and, and choosing your own assay, and then I'll answer a few frequently asked questions about FT that we often get from our microplate reader customers. So I'll start off um, with a little bit about fluorescence polarization in general. So FT assays, as you may know, allow us to monitor biomolecular binding events that are occurring in solution. And these types of assays offer advantages of, over other types of binding assays in that they are homogeneous, so there's no wash step, there's no washing of unbound material. Um, these are non-radioactive assays that often replace older technologies that involve radioisotopes. These are ratiometric assays, and you'll see why that is later. So they're very amenable to miniaturization, so this makes them very good for high throughput screening. They can be miniaturized down to the 1536 plate format or even smaller. So these are often used in screening. Um, some other binding assays uh, involve the technology of TR-FRET, or time-resolved fluorescence resonance energy transfer. Um, you may have heard of some of these, HTRF, IMAP, LANTA screen, and LANTA. Those are um, similar technologies in that they allow monitoring of binding events, as FP does. But there's some key differences. So fluorescence polarization will only require you to do a single labeling reaction whereas TRFRET would require labeling of two separate molecules. And in addition to that, one of the labels must be a time-resolved fluorophore like europium or terbium. TRFRET does enable the use of two large binding partners, and as you'll see in a moment, FP requires one small